Hi, I'm Cynthia Brazil, and I direct the Personal Robots Group. Now, the theme of this session is augmentation, so I want to highlight one very big, very exciting, very new project in my lab called Playtime Computing. And the reason why I think it fits into the theme of augmentation is we've really been thinking hard about how can you take imaginative, fun, story-based play off the screen and augment it by bringing it into the real world of a child. Now, we know at the Media Lab we have a very impressive 25-year tradition of creating innovative new technologies for children, creative play, and learning. But a lot of these technologies and systems have been developed for older kids, say eight-year-old and up, where they're ready to sit behind a computer or have fine motor skills to assemble, say, Lego blocks. But when you think about pushing these kinds of experiences down to much younger ages, say even preschool, we've been really thinking about how we can leverage recent advances in robotics, in ubiquitous 3D motion capture, and projection systems to really design experiences that are appropriate for very young kids. So examples would be, we know for, you know, people who have young children know they have a lot of physical energy. You want them to be able to move in a space. You don't want them sitting and watching a TV or just sitting and, and operating a, a button pressing game console. You want them to be looking at each other. You know, I have two boys who play the Wii and they're all looking at the screen. You want them looking at each other. You want them to be able to externalize their imagination in the world around them and co-create that. So we know that young children, story-based play experiences are fundamental to their development their ability to be story makers and players and actors in the story. So we've been really thinking about how can we create experiences to support that. So we've, as you can see here, we have a, a brand new demo that uh, is exploring that. We have a, a story-based world here with a new character that we've developed. This is Alfie. Alfie is an alpha bot. So as you can imagine, for young children, it's very much inspired by children's blocks. You can see the nature of this world is made to be very children friendly. It's not highly rendered photorealistic animation. It's meant to encourage children to feel they can draw stuff and add it into the world, flowers and so forth, to populate the scene. Now, imagine the magic for a child when instead of just being able to operate or interact with the experience on the screen, with characters on the screen, what if that character could literally come off the screen into your world where you can affect the story and the characters in your world all around. You can be in that story in a really physical way. So here is Alfie. All right. Hi, Alfie. How are you doing? So let's say that there's a challenge or something that's based on music for Alfie. And I have to help Alfie solve this problem. Maybe, maybe you know, these, these symbols on its face give Alfie magical powers or special powers in this virtual world. And Alfie has a music challenge. So there's RFID tags Oops, in these letters and symbols that we can put them on Alfie and now we've given him a new power that he can take back into his world. Okay, go, go save the world Alfie! <laughs> and go into this magic portal. So the idea of this sort of transfiction character where this is a character that has a dual reality, a one reality in the physical world as well as in the story world. And now you can see he's here with the, the new symbol, oops, the new power and being able to save the day. So I think this is a new dimension to storytelling that is really amenable for children of young ages. But of course, to elaborate these experiences even more, I think people of all ages, of course, will love them. The second thing I wanted to talk about is the co-creation aspect. So I want to draw your attention to this idea of creation stations that we've also been developing in the lab, where you can see the space here is a live video projection. So you can imagine Natalie here, say that she's a a friend who's living in the house next door. Maybe she's a child living far away in another country. She can see what I'm doing in my adventure in this one reality uh, story world. And she can add content. So let's say that she wants to put in her own drawings, like a flower. Or she wants to put in her own toys, perhaps, like a car. Or maybe sh there's a challenge where you know she has a heart. Maybe me, as an actor, I have to to follow the love in some sense, you know, to solve the problem so I can try to step on these symbols and she can move it and I can follow it around. So the idea here is just, it's distance play. It's really thinking about bringing kids together, co-located in space, but also remote space in a way that you can make it co-creative and collaborative in this physical world.